Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So as I'm sure you guys are aware, with the brand new Kyle Perico Heist DLC, Rockstar Games have added in quite a few different little secret challenges or hunts that we can go ahead and do that will end up benefiting our character in the long run. Whether that be finding the 10 antenna locations in Free Roam to unlock the secret radio station, or going ahead and finding the sleeping guard at one of the seven locations in order to unlock the secret pistol. However, Rockstar Games have also added in one of these secret hunts that we can go ahead and do on the brand new island itself. And this will majorly increase your chances of beating the final heist, making it a walk in the park. If you guys aren't aware, like I mentioned a few days ago, I am in the process of putting together an ultimate guide as far as the Kyle Perico heist. So I have been coming across a bunch of different tips and tricks that i will be showing you guys in that video however this one alone like i said will make this heist a walk in the park so if you guys aren't aware you can actually go ahead and find cutting powder at three different locations around the kyle perico map which you can then go ahead to use to put inside a water tower which will drug all of the bodyguards making the heist a walk in the park they won't be able to shoot straight they'll be very slow and so it's definitely worth doing if you guys have the chance to so this this cutting powder can be found in one of three different locations. Here on screen is the first location that you guys can see and as you guys can see it's basically just a lab in the middle of the jungle. There will be a few workers around here but don't worry they're not guards you won't get caught by walking in here. Now the cutting powder will be located in the corner of this room if it does spawn for you in this location. Like I said there is three different locations that it will spawn in and I'll just go ahead and show you guys all three so you can definitely go ahead and do this for yourself. So if it's not in that location, here is the second location where you guys will be able to find the cutting powder and this is actually where I went ahead and found my one. So it's just near the coast and as you guys can see, it will be on the floor right next to the duffel bag. Now once you guys pick up the cutting powder, you will get radioed in by the Russian on the submarine, just letting you guys know what it's all about and what you guys can do with it. However, the third and final location that you guys will be able to find this cutting powder is basically over here, right behind this character on top of these boxes so one of these three locations will guarantee to have the cutting powder for you guys so once you guys have collected one all you want to do from here is make your way over to any water tower in the game there is actually two on the island you have the north water tower which i'm showing you guys right here on screen however you have the main one which i'm more closer to so i end up going to this one either one it don't make a difference however just do as i do on screen make your way to the top of the water tower press right on the d-pad to add the cutting powder into the water system and as easy as that you guys have just made this heist finale a walk in the park if you guys are going to go ahead and do this solo which i've seen the majority of players liking to do definitely go ahead and do this as it only takes about five minutes to do and it will make a massive difference to the final heist hopefully you guys do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest gt guides as always if you guys do support the channel and this video has helped you guys out in any way shape or form all i ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here feel free to subscribe as i do post daily gta 5 videos thanks a lot for watching guys i'll see you in my next video